Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents, and welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your certified Scentsy consultant. So today I have for you my What I Have Been Warming video for the week. But first, I just wanted to uh, let you all know that I've had a good number of harvest orders come in since September 1st, and every single one that was specifically harvest motivated as far as purchases, they all had the fall fairy tale warmer. So if you have your eye on that, I think, especially if you're one of my uh, other customers, I would encourage you to get that sooner rather than later because it is extremely popular. So back to everything that we've got going on here. First off, I have some late summer warming melting that I was doing just to kick off the week last week. So here comes the sunflowers is marvelous. It's so soft and sweet. It is a late summer floral with your strawberry, your musk, and your sunflower, and it was fantastic in all of the rooms. And then to go with that, I had sun ripened berry, which was in one of the flash sale uh, bundles that I got over the summer. This is not a scent that I love all by itself, but it was excellent with the here comes the sunflowers because of that strawberry note, the berries that they shared. It was really good. So this one's sort of like orange and multiple berries. It's definitely got a strawberry forward uh, scent note or two, and it was very good together. I think that I also threw in a little bit of my brick and squeeze the day just to kind of brighten it up, and it was a good day in the house. Now, another day, <laughs> we had gone shopping with our girls and my dogs, my poor dogs. They didn't get left home longer than usual, but my big boy, my 130 something pound uh, German Shepherd, he's all black and he's got the sweetest, kindest heart, although he's very intimidating looking. He rarely has problems in the house, but he had a little bit of an accident. So when we came home, you could smell that it wasn't Sensi that was wafting through the air. And shepherds are neat and tidy dogs for the most part. They're very conscientious. He had literally folded over a rug, this fuzzy rug that was in my back room to hide his little mess. I felt so bad for him. So we cleaned all that up, but needless to say, we needed to freshen up the space. So I grabbed coconut lemongrass and threw that in a bunch of warmers. And I also used up the rest of this bar of inner peace. These are similar. This one has cypress and more lemony notes and it's really, really nice. Mm. So that with the coconut lemongrass totally banished all the stinkiness and we were doing very well. So after that had died down in the house quite a bit, I wanted to try the new We're All Mad here. My friend on YouTube, Carrie F, she loves this bar. And now I can see why. When you open the clam, it reminds you of vanilla blackberry, but it's all that blackberry and berry note. And then you add to it lemon and a little bit of fizz, just a little bit. It's not super effervescent like some of our holiday bars are. This is really nice and it threw well in the house. I put it in my quarterly club and I'm gonna get at least a couple more. I really liked it. So then there was another day where all these different pairings that we're going to talk about that I've been going through, one of them had just died out a little earlier than I wanted it to. So I threw quite a bit of Love You Very Much in warmers, especially in the back half of the house. And I didn't put these on on the same day, but the We're All Mad here would probably be very good with this. This would also probably be excellent with either Scarlet Sunflower or the Here Comes the Sunflowers. Because this is cranberry and a bunch of florals and some peach and it's so good for like a fall fruity floral. It was in Bring Back My Bar this summer. Excellent, excellent bar. Okay, so here's one of those pairings or combos that I like to do in the house. Maybe not my most successful one, but we had a really hot day where these, I've got the Caramel Pear Crisp and the Perfect Day. I thought they'd be good to get through because this type of pear scent isn't my absolute favorite and I had this caramel pear crisp, which it was from Bring Back My Bar a long time ago. It's okay. It's not amazing, but it's good. So I mixed this with Vanilla Waves, and honestly, usually Vanilla Waves can cure anything. It didn't do a lot to this caramel pear crisp. So the salty caramel vanilla notes in this really didn't smooth this out. I was kind of shocked, but you know, it was okay. And I used up the rest of my bar of Perfect Day. I had gotten the bar in my kit and made samples and I did get this one other bar. It's good. I'm not going to repurchase any more this year though. So it's apple, bourbon, maple, pear. It's mostly pear. I'm not even sure if there is any apple in here, honestly. And all that pear, all that like bright, sharp green pear. It was good, but it isn't the sort of thing where I'm really reaching for more. 
Now, a day that was a lot more successful than that is this trio, which was apple butter frosting, which you guys all know is one of my favorites ever. So good. Mmm, apples and buttercream and spices and smoothness. Amazing. That was in the front room. It throws well, coats your house in happiness. <clears throat> I had apple cherry strudel going in other warmers in the middle of the house. And this is not a long lasting scent, but a good one with the apple and the cherry and the pastry. And then in the back room, I had a much better melt this time of graham cracker crunch, which I mostly have just mixed up till now because it just didn't throw very well in my house last year. Maybe it's just because the bars have had more time to sit. This did well enough in my Florida room that I'm considering getting more, and I did mix it in one warmer with apple cherry strudel, which people have been telling me to do, and it was successful. Very nice day in the house. Graham cracker crunch, just so you know, has like a peanut butter and a graham cracker and a warmth to it. Very, very nice. All right, another day I was doing more Karan apple crumble, and it was delicious. So it's got brown sugar, it's got whipped cream, it's got apple and cranberry. And I was pairing that with almond croissant to up that kind of golden brown factor. Almond croissant is just in my club. It's currently retired. It is almond, flaky, buttery pastry goodness. Total powerhouse. Love it. And that paired very well with this one, which starts out with mostly the whipped cream and the brown sugar and a little bit of spice. Then it went to a really sweet tart place with lots of apple and cranberry. And about the time I was going to pull it out of the warmers, I got mostly the vanilla whipped cream. Very, very nice bar. Okay, now September 1st, going to be up at 3 in the morning to get my harvest collection order in because I didn't want to miss out on the Fall Fairy Tale or the Gingham Gourd or the Luminous Leaves Mini. Those are the ones I really had my eye on. And there are a couple more things that I added and obviously the trio bars. But I was up at 3 a.m. with toothpicks in my eyes. Um, and I threw in fairy tale pumpkin the night before just because it would be fun to be sort of half asleep and ordering with this scent. And if you order a September Scentsy Club, you're going to get a free bar of fairy tale pumpkin. And if you order more than $60 in any of your Scentsy Club shipments in September, you also get a package of cotton cleanups as a thank you. So, fairy tale pumpkin. No pumpkin in it for me, mostly candy, a little bit of spice, and a lot of like blueberry, blackberry. Interesting bar. Not in my top 10, except in the sense that it's fun and weird. So that was great. So then when I woke up at a reasonable hour later in the day, I wanted to celebrate September 1st with Scary Good, which is like my favorite pumpkin scent. I mean, I've got six favorite pumpkin scents, but pumpkin and spice, but without all the bakery, Scary good, even though I think it is in the bakery category. It's more like pumpkin, pumpkin, and spice, spice, not baked good or anything like that. And it's got this smoky butterscotch on the back end. Wonderful. And in some of the warmers, I mixed it with cinnamon buttercream. Now, the cinnamon buttercream mix was nice, but because I like my scary good super strong, I don't think I'm going to mix them again just because it, it dampened that, which for some of you that don't like the strength of scary good could be perfection. But it was a very lovely mix. And I ended up learning, whoops, <laughs> did you guys see that? That with the last two cubes that I had of this, I was wondering what to do with it after I kind of, you know, portioned it out. I went to my bedroom. You know what? For me, cinnamon buttercream makes a great bedroom scent because it's super mellow and chill. It's not a very strong smell. I really can't smell it out in my open areas very well at all. And it's elegant and light for bakery. So I have a new favorite for maybe a strange space to melt it in, but I really liked that. Okay, then one day I just wanted my favorite power combo from Bring Back My Bar this summer. And that was French toast, which is fabulous. This is oh, so good. At one time in the past, I got a truly had gone bad type bar. So then I labeled this as a gross smell. It is not. It's so good. Oh, it's got the powdered sugar. It has that eggy bread, which is great. It's a great note. It's not weird. Uh, cinnamon, maple syrup. Oh, it's so good. So good. So good. So this was in half of the warmers in the house. And then the other half was my beautiful buckleberry, which is this saturated berry smell that is just delicious and it's good fall berries with just the tiniest bit of bakery cinnamony ending. It isn't really a bakery smell, but it pairs perfectly with bakery smells. My favorite being French toast because they're both very assertive. 
So it coated the house all day long, saturated, beautiful scent. One of the better pairing performances I've had in a long time. It was really good. Okay, then today I am doing these three. I wanted pumpkin cinnamon swirl. It's definitely sort of overcast and gloomy outside. So pumpkin cinnamon swirl is probably sort of pumpkin light bakery heavy. It's mostly a cinnamon frosting, like cinnamon roll with a little bit of smooth sweet pumpkin kind of a smell. Medium throw, very happy. I am gonna definitely order more of this for over the fall beautiful and then I wanted to support the vanilla creaminess in it so in this room out here I used up my last four cubes of simply vanilla I'll get another bar later this month on my club and this is just the most lovely vanilla scent it's like a classic vanilla no bakery it's almost like French vanilla ice cream in the sense of how it smells but it's not bakery or foodie at all but it's beautiful and those two really went well together and in the kitchen I wanted a little bit more spice so I put two cubes of simply cinnamon vanilla in there. Cinnamon vanilla was a spring summer scent. I didn't club it. I have this and one more full bar, so I'm going to be kind of stingy with it. Mm, but this is just the best balance, perfect balance of cinnamon and vanilla. So then I had a few more things that were going on in my bedrooms. So my daughter had been melting some coconuts for coconuts to just finish up the clam. And it's so funny. We've melted this so many times and it's gone from, oh, yuck, I don't like it to, oh, that's pretty good. And now it's funny how she'll have it in a room and I cannot identify it. And I'll say, this is really good. What you melting? And she'll kind of look at me like, coconuts for coconuts, mom. You know, the one you never can recognize. This was excellent. I hope it comes back next spring, summer. So then we were also getting through, and I think it was my room, but I don't know. I can't remember anymore. So Mad for Melon, which is a really nice light melon and uh, florals smell. It was from spring, summer. It's happy. It's really good in like a medium to small size space. Really, really nice. And then she was also doing some grapefruit sunshine, which is a nice, very clean, sharp grapefruit scent. And this was in one of the bundles from the flash sale. Mm. And in certain spaces, this is really good. I don't tend to like this out in the open because it's not like, to me, a happy scent. It's more like a clean scent that would be good in a laundry room or a bathroom or something. Okay. One day I did quite a bit of cozy cardigan in my bedroom. This is just a classic for fall. It's so comforting. Oh, silk, suede, rose, amber, relaxing, cuddly, elegant goodness. I love this in body care. I just finished up my sugar scrub and I'm working on the Scentsy Soak and the shower gel and all the creams in that. That is something to order in Moisture Medley and you'll love it. Okay, Blonde Wood and Moonflower. I had this in my bedroom for one day. It doesn't last a terribly long time, but it's so pretty with the wood and the florals. Oh, I really like this, and it was just relaxing and elegant. And last but not least, right now, currently, I started it yesterday and it'll probably go through till tomorrow morning, the a beautiful and attractive White Amber Antique. And my husband, who, as you've heard me describe, uh, like this is a men's cologne, what type of man would probably wear it? My husband, if he's out in the sun, his hair will go blonde and he's got bright blue eyes. I'm like, you have to get a cologne like this. And I didn't bother to tell him that like, you're the profile of guy I always say would wear this on my channel, but oh, he loved it. He's like, what's, what are you melting in the bedroom? It's good. So this is the most wonderful cologne scent with the amber and the woodiness. And I really thought it would only be good spring, summer. Just personally, I felt like it was good for hot summer days. I'm really liking it in my bedroom here in September, so who knows? This may turn out to be an all year round cologne scent for me. If they decide to retire this, I will absolutely be clubbing it. It's great. So that is everything that I have for you. So my question of the week was, are you more excited about harvest type goodies, anything that's like October and forward, or are you more excited about the things coming that have to do with holidays and Christmas? Personally, I'm a harvest girl. I'm going to enjoy the holidays, but it's the pumpkins and the spices and the leaves that those are like my favorite things ever. So which of those two special collections and then all the other stuff that goes on around it with extras here and there are you looking forward to? And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.